Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to start a video that I think will be very fun. And this is inspired by Riley Marie. I will link her video down below where she does the same thing. But she has uh, done this before. It's basically a scavenger hunt where you have prompts, you go through the shelves and then in the end you end up with a book to read. I have other prompts right here. Uh, Riley Marie shared them with her Patreon, so her patrons. Um, so that's how I got them and then uh, during this weekend we'll all read the book that we got through the scavenger hunt together. I think it's so much fun. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into the hunting part and then um, after that we'll have the reading vlog. Okay, I will have to read this off a little bit. So, to start, pick a book you gave five stars, then find another book you would recommend to people who liked that book. So the last book I gave five stars was Little Fires Everywhere by Celeste Ng. And since this is a story that looks at different families um, from different backgrounds, but it also has a mystery element to it, I thought that the perfect book to recommend if you like this one is Miracle Creek by Angie Kim, I believe. Number two, count the number of letters in the title, then pick a random spot on your bookshelf and count to that number book. So Miracle Creek has 12 letters, so I will start just there behind me and count to 12. Okay, so that would be my German edition of The Hobbit by Tolkien. Number three, Look at what is on the cover. Find another book with one of those elements in the title. Okay, so here we have the cover and there's really not a lot to go off from. Um, so we have mountains or like hills, but I'm gonna say mountains. So that brings us to The Door in the Mountain by Caitlin Sweet. This is a Greek myth retelling, but a very, very old one. Would definitely recommend, especially the second book in this duology, gave me Hunger Games wipes. It was so good. Okay, number four. Reverse the page number of your book and find another book with a page count closest to that number. So this has 246 pages, so we're gonna reverse. That is 462. Okay, so I'm gonna count this one with the like historical notes. It has 464 pages and this is a historical fiction, but it has some kind of magical elements because we're also dealing with some gods. Then we have number five, list some of the tropes of your book. Find another book that shares one of these tropes. So I'm always not very great with like tropes, especially if it's not like the cliche ones. But I think the one that stuck in my mind the most from this one is meddling gods. So we'll look for a book with meddling gods. Okay, so a series that also deals with some meddling gods, even though they're not like Greek mythology, but the own mythology of this world, is the monstrous comics. Number six. Find a book that has the same color combination to your book. So looking at this, we have a lot of black, a lot of gold and some white or like off-white. I think the best I can do is my German copy of Hunger Games. It has the gold and the black not the, the white. Number seven, read the first sentence, pick any word in that sentence and find a book with that word in the title or pictured on the cover. Now, as I said, this is my German edition, so the words might be slightly different. I don't know how accurate the translation is, so we'll see. But it basically says, when I woke up, the other side of the bed was cold. And this is not giving me a lot to work with, oh no. 
Okay, I have to do this cheaply, but there was definitely a that in there somewhere, so I'm going with the five. Um, yeah, <laughs> I just, I couldn't find anything on my shelf with like cold or side or bad or something like that. So we have to do the, I'm sorry. So number eight, turn to the acknowledgements and the first name you see, find a book written by an author with the same name. Okay, I got the acknowledgements, let's see. Jennifer, Jennifer, it is. Jennifer. I'm pretty sure there's no Jennifer on my shelves. <laughs> oh no. Okay, this is as close as we will get. This is The Beginning of the World in the Middle of the Night by Chan Campbell. I'm sorry <laughs> if this is like not exactly the name, but as I said, I don't, I don't have Jennifer's. Jennifer's, you need to write more books that sound interesting to me. I'm sorry. Oh god, this is gonna be so difficult. No! Number nine. Look at the cover and find a book that has a similar looking cover. Do I have a similar looking cover? This has an anatomical heart on it and flowers. And there is like one book that comes to my mind that also has this like anatomical heart. Um, the like romancy one, but I don't own it. I could maybe get it through my library because in the next prompt I have to look inside the book. So let's see if I can find anything that might be close to this. Okay, with this one you have to kind of bear with me now. Are they similar? Kind of. Like we have the like design around the edges, here with the thorns, here with the flowers. The like author name is in a similar place. The title is in a similar place and they're both naked hardcovers. So I'm just gonna count it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It says similar looking, not the same. Okay, just bear with me. We made it to the last prompt. So now number 10, add your birthday, month and day together that is 25 for me, turn to that page number in your book, pick any word on that page and find a book with that word in the title. <laughs> this is gonna be dangerous. We go to page 25. Watch that be a giant picture. No, it's not. This is 25. Okay. Let's see if I can do it with my eyes closed and find something that works. We'll see girl. Okay, let me see if I have anything on my physical TBR with girl. And if I don't, then we'll have to check the library options. Okay, so my physical TBR, I only have one book and it doesn't work. It is the sinister, um, sinister mystery of the mesmerizing girl. And this is the second book in a series. I haven't read the first one yet. So unfortunately, that does not work for my pur purpose today. Okay, so next let's check the library if there's anything immediately available to me. Okay, so if I'm completely honest, the library books that I'm interested in, there's also none with girl in the title. I don't know what it is. It seems like girl is not an appealing title to me. So we'll try again. We're back on page 25. Down. Okay, <laughs> I don't know if that one is better. If we don't find anything with down, then I might just use my eyes and look forward that works. So let's look for down. Okay, so no luck with down either. So now I'm just gonna look at the page and if something seems to match, I'm gonna do that. Like I've had two look throughs <laughs> the books available to me right now. So I should find something. We're back on page 25. Like honestly, fairy tale words are not working in my favor right now. <laughs> we have like princes and beasts and kings and none of that is on my TV. <laughs> okay, after long consideration, I chose a people and the book 
I chose for that. I know my friend who gave me this is very excited now. This one is called The Five People You Meet in Heaven in English. And I have no idea what it is about. Um, but yeah, this was kind of a, not a gift, but a friend borrowed this to me, I guess. So it's time to finally read it. It's also quite short, so I might get this done during the weekend. And yeah, let's read this book. This was, this was difficult. This was so difficult. <laughs> Why was this so difficult? I don't know, but this is on my media TBR, so it matches up quite well. And let's do that. Transition over to the reading vlog. So it is time for the reading part and I'm already halfway through the book. I luckily chose something very short, so surprisingly I might be able to finish it even today. Not just this weekend, but today. So I'm halfway through. This book is definitely a little bit different from what I thought, but then still the same. I think it has a similar setup to one of TJ Klune's books where there's this guy who dies and then he has this kind of like pre-afterlife. So that is very similar in here. We're following our main character. Um, his name is Eddie and he dies at the beginning of the book. And I thought that was set up quite well. Like I actually was very intrigued by the beginning. Eddie is over 80 years old at this point in time and he works um, um, in an amusement park at a pier and there is an accident and he dies and so in the first um, chapter we are following his last like two hours I think of his life and then we go with him into kind of like this afterlife kind of heaven experience and so so far I have met two of the five people that he will meet and talk to and this is supposed to be like teaching him about his life like the idea is that after meeting these five people he will understand his life it will be explained to him it will make sense to him and so far i'm a bit underwhelmed to be honest because the first two people apart from like all of the characters being men so far except for the love interest and the mother who is not very capable as it seems um, yeah, I don't know. I feel very underwhelmed. We'll see where it goes from here. So basically the first person he meets is someone who worked um, as a, like, I don't know the English words. Like basically he for some reason has blue skin and so he worked in these like shows where people would stare at him because he has blue skin. So that's the first person that he meets. And then the second person is someone from his military past. So we do have quite a bit of war in here as well, which I found compelling to read about, but at the same time, I don't really enjoy reading about war. Um, so yeah, so far it's okay, it's fine, it's readable. Yeah, uh, so I will continue on with the second half now and then let you know my final verdict. Okay, so I'm finished with the book and unfortunately I did not work for me. Not at all. I'm giving it two stars, which is really sad because the friend that gave it to me probably thought it would bring something meaningful to my life. But unfortunately, it did not. Um, this is, in my opinion, problematic on so many levels. Now, this is an older book and that's probably why so many people loved it, because like I guess um, our perception of what is problematic has changed quite a bit. But yeah, in the third encounter we have in here, the third person he meets, 
it's all about his father, who was physically and emotionally extremely abusive. And the person he talks about that with, one, makes no sense to me. Like, the whole idea, it just felt so weird. And two, she basically tells him to fucking get over it and forgive his father because his father saved his best friend after he tried to rape his wife. And so the father ultimately is a good person or something. I don't know. What's the message? What is the message? I don't understand. That's definitely where this lost me. Then we get the whole like marriage thing. So he does meet his wife. This is probably spoiler. Um, but it's very predictable in that way. Um, and yeah, I think the whole relationship dynamic is like very old schooly. And it's portrayed as this big love. I don't buy into that. I'm not 80 years old. I will never love a person for all of my life. This just, no. And then the last part is the one that is supposed to be the most touching. But it's basically this man being absolved for something horrible that happened where he killed a little girl of color and he's absolved of that because in the end he saved a white girl like over 50 years later and that is the meaning of his life or something no 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 nope nope this is a big nope <laughs> um, I just felt like the messaging wasn't like you know particularly interesting um if you look at books like the midnight library which already a lot of people did not like but i think still worked much better than this one or the christmas carol where this whole idea is coming from or something like lovely bones which deals with the whole like death thing and also has a little girl who dies in wolves and stuff like that. Those books are so much better. Don't waste your time on this. Would not recommend. So unfortunately, this reading vlog was not as fun as I thought it would be. I mean, I read the book within just a couple of hours. So that's still a plus point, And that is why I gave it two stars. Because the writing itself is good. And it's easy to read. But I just, I, I don't agree with the way that the message is communicated through this very horrible story of this old man that I don't care about at all. So that's that, unfortunately. I hope you still had fun watching this vlog. Um, I don't know if you did, <laughs> let me know. But uh, yeah, I was hoping I would have a better book that I could gush about. Unfortunately, that did not work out. But it still was so much fun to do the whole, like, um, scavenger hunt. That definitely was such a cool um, concept that I've never done before. So, yeah, maybe if another chance will come around to do something like this, I will try again. Hopefully with a book where I have a little bit more luck. But let me know if you have participated in this little readathon, which book you've read and whether you gave it a better rating. And I will talk to you soon. Bye!